Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. rahim May Allah Almighty's light and peace and divine blessings be with you. This is Ihsan, and I finally just returned after several months on the road. Finally returned to what is home for the moment. And hopefully, inshallah ta'ala, we'll be able to upload more content uh, more frequently. So I wanted to um, briefly in this video address something that came up after my last video. It's a question that somebody posted and which seems to come up quite a bit. So I wanted to address this and post it and inshallah ta'ala will be a benefit. So I'm going to read the question and then inshallah ta'ala will get into it. Um, RK, I don't know um, the initials, the name, but RK wrote on the last video, uh, Brother, what is the difference between surrendering to Allah and being passively floating aimlessly in life? So the question is, what is the difference between surrender and being overly passive or being apathetic? This is actually a question that comes up quite a bit when we talk about surrender. And you'll notice in much of the content that I produce, we always come back to surrender, which is the religion before Allah Almighty, the religion before our Creator, the way of life that He, subhanahu wa ta'ala, has ordained for His creation. Surrender to His divine will. Because we are creatures, we are creatures of limited and finite capacity in every which way, infinitesimally limited capacity. And as intelligent and as clever as we may think ourselves to be, we encompass so little of reality. We can only perceive so little of reality. And Allah Ta'ala has created creation, created this universe. He knows what is before and what is after, the past and the future. And so His will is above everything. And so Allah Almighty says in the Qur'an that the religion before Allah is Islam, which means surrender. Surrender. So we talk a lot about surrender and a lot about learning how to bring the heart and soul into alignment with divine will as it is manifesting in the present moment. So often when we talk about surrender, sometimes this gets misunderstood to being uh, overly surrendered to circumstances in the sense that they will be perpetuated into the future. We don't know what the future holds. You don't know what the future is, what is destined in the future. But whatever is happening right now is destined, was destined. Hence, it is occurring, it is manifesting, it is now. So this moment is divine destiny. And in this moment, it doesn't mean to become passive and to not act. But to surrender means to be emotionally content or surrendered in this moment and with whatever has passed, whatever has occurred, whatever has transpired, because it was destined. Now, we don't know from this point what is the future. And it doesn't mean that we surrender to this set of circumstances into the future, that we perpetuate this into the future. It simply means that we've got to be emotionally at peace, surrender to divine will here and now. In this moment and this is the point of humility which is the fundamental quality of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and of the way of the believer and the way of the servant of Allah it's based in humility and surrender to the divine will on a moment by moment basis hence the truly surrendered soul is he or she who is living in the present moment who is present in the present moment not in the past, not in the future, but fully here now and accepting whatever is Allah's will, surrender to it, and ultimately beyond just surrender in a state of gratitude, in a state of perpetual gratitude for all of the blessings and light that is continually descending on us, that is continually encompassing us in all circumstances. Now at the same time, we must have goals. We must have direction in life. We must move towards something. And in fact, we discussed this quite a bit in the Eternal Warrior Way program. We must have a direction in life. You must have goals and things that you are moving towards. But you must be surrendered every step of the way. And it's not so much about the destination as it is about how you make the journey. So surrender is the way of traveling. Every step to be present. Every step to be grateful. Every step to be humble. Every step to be in a state of remembrance. Every step to be surrendered to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you make an action, you get a result, and we must be surrendered to that result in the moment. That's what's occurred. Positive or negative, success or failure. 
but it doesn't mean to not get up and try again, but to do so from a place of surrender, an internal emotional state of surrender. This is a state of emotional equilibrium. And essentially, what we are doing is transcending negative emotion. That's what it means to be surrendered, to transcend anger, to transcend resistance, to transcend frustration and resentment and jealousy and hatred and all of these negative emotions is to walk the path of Islam. Surrender the self so that the spirit can rise and the spirit is based in positive emotions. Your spirit, your soul, really the word is ruh, spirit in Arabic. It is a aspect of us that is connected to and based and created with light, positivity, right? And it draws from the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the attributes of love and mercy, strength, patience, forbearance, light. The nafs, the self, the lower self, draws from the elements of the world, and those are negative in nature. So that's what gives rise to anger and frustration and stress and fear and jealousy and hatred and resentment and bitterness and depression and hopelessness, despondency. That is what must be transcended. That is what must be surrendered so that the spirit can manifest in us. And as the spirit increasingly manifests in us, we become increasingly connected with its source, which is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah Almighty. And he says in the Holy Quran, I've breathed into human beings of my own spirit, my ruhi, from my own spirit. So there's a secret here, and we talk about this at length also uh, throughout much of my work and especially in the meditation program, the Islamic meditation program, your breath is sacred. So your breath is the means with which to surrender in the, in the present moment, to connect with the light of Allah in any given moment. Your breath is that gateway. It's that doorway that leads into the divine presence that reconnects you to your source, to your origin, to your creator, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So again, briefly, Surrender doesn't mean to be apathetic, to be aimless in life, to have no goals. It means to strive with your best effort, yet every moment be surrendered to the result. We are responsible for our actions and our intentions, and the domain of results is the domain of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to do our part and then trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And usually, normally, when we do our part, Allah will will that the results manifest, right? But we have to do our part. As the Prophet ﷺ said, trust in Allah. He said, tie your camel and trust in Allah. We have to do our part. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us, inshallah, with His grace as He wills. Regardless, in every moment, in every step of the way, we must be surrendered to what is manifesting here and now. So I hope that helps clarify that question. May Allah ta'ala bless you all. Inshallah ta'ala, we will speak more, share more with you inshallah soon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.